Hi church, my name is Sun Zhong. This is my lovely wife, Alison. Okay. I have been in church since 1989 when I was 14 years old. My wife, Alison, has been in church since 1995 when she was 19 years old. We have both participated in every Arise and Build in City Harvest. When we first got married in 2002, our combined income was only 2,400. Like most newlywed, life was not a bed of roses after the honeymoon was over. We were immediately in debts amounting to about $30,000. Although we were financially very tight, we always trusted the Lord to provide for us. Pastor Kong always preached on Luke 6 verse 38. We say, Give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. So we continue faithfully to tithe and give our offering as well as sow into the building fund. We did what we could by saving money and paying our way out of debt. For example, we did not take cabs unless it was absolutely necessary. We did not go to fancy restaurants or even to the movies. Every month, we allowed ourselves to spend only about $100 each. The following year, we had our first bond. It was even tougher for us now as we were still paying our debts and had very little left over to cater to the baby's needs, such as monthly jabs, milk powder, and so on. In spite of all we were going through, we never once thought of withholding back from God or His house. We kept tithing and giving faithfully, knowing that we serve a God who will never shortchange Amen. us. And church, God came through for us. A relative of mine blessed us with an amount for our baby that was enough to cover all expenses over the next two years. Not only that, because of all the teaching we have learned in CHC about faith, discipline and pressing on, we were able to clear all our debts within two years. Amen. Amen. Dr. A.R. Bernard taught us a principle that I hold on to dearly, even until now. If you want to have the salary you do not yet have, start to tithe according to that salary which you would like to have. I apply that principle in my life and true enough, I soon receive increment after increment in my salaries. As I continue to sow into the house of God, my commission also started increasing. We went from owning a huge debt to settling that debts and eventually being able to afford our first car in 2004. God's blessing did not stop there. In 2007, I was headhunt to work for an MNC and again received a salary increment of 30%. The year 2000... <laughs> Amen. The year 2008 was both a good year and a bad year for us. I was expecting our third child and we had just purchased our new property. However, at the end of 2008, in my third trimester, I was diagnosed with stage 3B breast cancer. The news struck us like a bolt of lightning and we couldn't help but to wonder why this was happening to us. The doctor advised me to quickly deliver the baby and start chemotherapy a week after delivery. During this time, we were halfway through our building fund campaign. The treatment was very costly as the cancerous tumour, according to the oncologist, was huge. We had insurance, but we were not sure if it was enough to cover the medical expenses or how much the treatment would amount to. Sun Zhong had his payslip ready to go to the bank to ask for a loan. With all this in mind, we were so tempted to excuse ourselves from fulfilling the building fund because we really needed every single cent for the treatment. However, we felt that when the money is most precious to us, that's when we should give it up to God. Amen. In order for Him to work a miracle for us, we decided to trust the Lord and continue to give and fulfill our building fund pledges. We also trusted Jesus for total healing and recovery. Indeed, God is faithful. We received news that our insurance coverage was able to claim up to 90% of all my treatment costs. Not only that, we received a $70,000 lump sum payout from the insurer. After I went through six rounds of chemotherapy, the tumour shrunk from 6 cm to 0.8 mm. And the doctor told us that I was all ready for surgery to remove the tumour. All throughout our ordeal, Pastor Jeremy, Pastor Derek, Pastor Eileen, they were there for us every step of the way. Amen. Our zone leaders and our cell group members kept praying for us and encouraging us. 
I don't think we could ever pull through this without all the support that we've received from the house of God. My cancer has now been in remission ever since the treatment and next year will be my fifth year before I'm officially cleared by the doctor. In the midst of all turmoil, I was promoted, which gave me a further increment of about 60% of my then existing salary. On top of that, I was also offered sponsorship for my undergrad, undergrad course. My job required me to travel 70% of my time, and Alison had to juggle work, her study, and taking care of the children. To date, both of us have graduated with second class honors for our degree program. Amen. This year, I have a change of portfolio. From a business development manager, I was made a Southeast Asia regional sales manager. With the change, I received another 30% increase in my annual package. Amen. When I think back the past 24 years, I'm so grateful that God has planted my family and I in City Harvest. We have been blessed not just financially, but in every area of our lives. Our health, our marriage, our children, our friendship and relationship here in the house of God. Alison and I know that the church, Pastor Kong, son and our leaders are going through a very challenging time now. But I want to encourage all of us here to keep on trusting the Lord and not to allow your faith in God to be shaken. While we are here, it's not just building a building. It was way bigger than that. We are building a spiritual legacy for ourselves, our children, and our children's children, so that members like us, who came with nothing, could live a life of destiny and purpose in God. Amen. 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 Alison and I are really looking forward to this Arise and Build weekend. While I was preparing to share this testimony, I have also been praying about the amount to give this time round more than ever before. We felt that now is the time to give. So two weeks ago, I prayed and felt God drop an amount in my heart, which was, I was preparing to pledge today. <laughs> so just this week, I was informed that my company is going to sponsor all my expenses for my MBA next year. Wow. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So what a great God we serve, church. Let us believe for a breakthrough that will come your ways. Let arise and build God a house. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's get soon to our Alison. A big round of applause.